Do you want to learn how to create a single crochet granny square? Well, you're in luck. That's what we're going to be learning today in the t today's tutorial. So go ahead and grab some worsted weight yarn. You can grab worsted weight cotton, or I'm using I Love This Yarn by Hobby Lobby. Um, and you can use any worsted weight yarn. Really, you could use any yarn, but worsted weight is what we're going with today. And you're going to want to grab an I9 or 5.5 millimeter hook, or you can go maybe with an H or even um, a J if you really needed something bigger or smaller. But I'm going to go with an I. That's what's recommended here. And it's what goes with my wildflower blanket, which is what this specific single crochet granny square is in. So if you're wanting a pattern to know how to use this single crochet granny square, go check out my wildflower blanket pattern. It'll be over in my Etsy shop, Etsy shop very, very soon. Now, the only thing you're going to need to know really how to do is how to create a magic ring and how to single crochet and chain. If you know how to do those things, you are going to be just fine and you can just follow along with me. There's going to be a few things that you're going to want to understand. We'll be starting here in the middle by working in the round in a circle shape and then we will move to the square by creating the corner spaces from there. This allows us to create a kind of specific number of stitches on the outside which is what was necessary for the wildflower blanket. Um, you do not need to go as many rows as I did or rounds as I did. You could go more, you could go less. You may go ahead and make it as you desire. But this is going to be our example. So go ahead and grab your stuff and you can follow along with me. Alrighty guys, so to get started with the middle of our granny square, we are going to make a magic ring. We're going to go ahead and chain one. So we're going to go ahead for right now and just single crochet with it for a total of six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to go ahead and pull our yarn tight. We're going to slip stitch now into that first single crochet. And as I said before, I am starting with a circle in the middle just because single crochet um, granny squares can be started with four single crochets with the corners and you can go ahead and do them traditionally. This specific one, I created the pattern for this um, this single crochet granny square when I was creating my wildflower blanket. And so this one had to match the granny square that I made with the flowers. So because of that, it's a slightly different way of making it, but I think it also makes it a little more solid in the center, which I do like. So we chained one. We're now going to increase in each stitch, which just means we're going to put two single crochet stitches in each stitch around. So one and another one right in that same stitch. Single crochet twice in each stitch around. So we should end up with a stitch count of 12. You can always pull this tight, your magic ring tight, if it starts to come loose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. Going to chain 1. And now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet once in the first stitch. And in the second stitch we're going to single crochet twice. And we're going to repeat that pattern of once in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and two single crochets in 
the next stitch. So our finish, we will at, at the end of our round, we should have 18. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, so seven. And then we'll do eight and nine, both in the next one. We'll do 10 by itself. And then the 11, number 11 and 12 we'll do together in the next stitch. And we'll just repeat that. One, one single crochet, and then two in the next one. So then we're going to go ahead and slip stitch again, back to the beginning. And then we are going to chain one. And now we're going to single crochet again, once in the top of that stitch, once in the next stitch, and then twice in the third stitch. So we'll have four stitches. Now we'll do once in the next stitch, once in the next one, and then twice in this next one. So you'll have two stitches where you just put one single crochet, and then the third stitch you're going to put two single crochets. And you'll end up with 24 stitches. All right, and this will be at the end of this round so we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to the beginning and now this is where we're going to actually start creating the square piece or the square that will go around our circle so what we're going to do is we're going to chain one we're going to single crochet into the the top of that same single crochet then we're going to chain two and now we are going to single crochet once into the next six stitches. So this will be the corner, the first corner. And then now we're going to create our first side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six and you can see we have now our first corner and our first side so we're going to now create our second corner we're going to chain two and we're not skipping any stitches because we are creating the square itself so now we're going to single crochet once into the next six again so we'll go one two three, four, five, and six. So we have two corners and two sides. So we're going to chain two again. It's our third corner. And we are going to, once again, single crochet into the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so we have three sides, three corners. We're going to chain two for our last corner. And then what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet 
into the next five. Now, a lot of people are going to get hung up here. This is the slip stitch. Do not single crochet into that slip stitch. All right, you're going to just skip it. You're gonna go ahead and single crochet into five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to slip stitch into the top of that one right there. That was your first single crochet of the round. And you're going to slip stitch into the chain two space. Now you have your four sides and you might be like, it's still a little round. It'll actually straighten out the more that you crochet. So we're going to chain one again, and we're going to do our first single crochet into that corner, the first corner space. We're gonna chain two, and then we're going to single crochet again into that corner space. So you'll have a sing two single crochets and your chain two all in that corner space. Then you're gonna single crochet across, And then you're going to single crochet into that chain two space. Chain two. And single crochet again into that chain two space. So you now have two corners done, one side done. We're going to single crochet across. <clears throat> And single crochet again in that chain two space. Chain two. And then single crochet again into that same chain two space. So two sides are done, three corners are done. So we're just gonna repeat that all the way across. And we're gonna repeat those steps all the way down. All right, so we're back to the beginning here and you'll notice I almost did it, but you do not want to single crochet into your slip stitch. You're actually gonna single crochet into the single crochet from the previous row. So you'll see right there, There's you kinda of have to go underneath the slip stitch above it. And then you're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet And you've completed your second round of the corners with the corners. <clears throat> so now you're going to slip stitch again into the chain two. And you're going to follow the exact same steps for the last round. So I'll show you how to start it again. We're going to chain one. You're going to single crochet into the corner. And that's the only one, remember it starts with one single crochet and we start with it, then we do a chain two <clears throat> and then we go ahead and start our first side. So we're gonna single crochet into the chain two space and you'll single cro crochet across and again into this chain two space. So we're just gonna follow the exact same steps all the way around and I'll show you again how we end here in just a minute. So just as a reminder, at the end, you're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet of the round. And that will end your final side right there. And then you're going to slip stitch into the first chain two from the previous round. And then you'll chain one and single crochet. 
and start uh, all back over again. Now, you'll go ahead and repeat that, all those steps until you have the size of square that you want. And for me, I am going to be looking to get to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to the ninth row where I will have 14 stitches per side because that is what I need for my wildflower blanket. Now, you could continue to make your granny square as large as you want it. You could stop before the ninth row. You could stop even at the very edge. You can make these as large as you want. You're just gonna repeat those same steps until you get the size of granny square that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my ninth row and I will show you what it'll look like here at the end. All right, to wrap up the final row, you're going to just slip stitch into the final single crochet of the, or the first single crochet of the round. And then you can go ahead and fasten off if you're ready or if you, you can keep going either way, but this is what it'll end up looking like. You'll have a nice, clean, single crochet granny square. Now, if yours is a little bit like bent or curled, you can always block it. I have found with the, with my yarn, at least when I've attached it, um, I'm using a join as you go method for the wildflower blanket. It actually doesn't like the weight of the other squares just kind of allows it to eventually relax and it isn't it isn't necessary but if you're using cotton or other or other types of yarn you could totally block this in whatever way that you desire but that is your single crochet granny square I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if so please like and subscribe and follow along so that way you can get more free crochet tutorials.